Dribbles his way up court, gives up to Bartholomew on the right side. Hook pass behind him. Walker pulls up, trailing three ball on the way. It's right between the eyes from downtown. Up top, between the circles, driving. Bartholomew down the lane, throw it up the window. Oh, shot, oh, shot, oh, shot, wow. good. He hung in the air. He double clutched. He took contact and he hooked it off the window for two. KJ to the foul line, jump pass behind a clipper, wide open, fires a three, right between the eyes from downtown. Oh, what a good look that time. On the block, kick up behind a batty up top, Simpson, he'll fire the three. Oh, it's raining threes in the desert tonight. 12.49 to play in the second half. There's highlights for the Buffaloes as they get the split on the road. They lose to Arizona, bounce back in Tempe and knock off the Arizona State Sun Devils. Voice of the Buffs, Mark Johnson, back in the Buffalo Stampede. We continue from Corelli's. We have Buffs primetime on Monday nights, and we're continuing with the head coach, Tad Boyle. Uh, we're talking with head coach Tad Bull. K.J. Simpson is here, the uh, freshman point guard for the Buffaloes. He'll be joining us here in a couple of minutes. The exciting young player for Colorado. Talking about the Buffs, a uh, couple of uh, games down in Arizona this week. They bounced back on Saturday with a nice 75-57 win over Arizona State. We were talking before the break about uh, your guys kind of taking the lesson to heart from, from yeah. Arizona and, and a totally different feel of that ball game for your team. Yeah, you know, and, and Mark, I mentioned this after the game. I don't know if we talked about it on the radio or not, but, you know, Mike Rohn, uh, you know, who's been with us for 12 years, yep. um, he made a really good point, I thought, in the locker room after the game because uh, each assistant coach gets a chance to kind of chime in and, and, and kind of get some things off their chest, win or lose. But, uh, you know, he mentioned the fact that he felt like we had great senior leadership from the time we lost to Arizona until – we played at Arizona State, and he's exactly right. I mean, and I talked to Evan about it, you know, between the the, the, the loss at Arizona and, and when we played ASU. And, you know, I said, Evan, you just got to get these guys ready to go, and, you know, we got to put this behind us, because that film session is a way for me to get stuff off my chest mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, sleep better the, night, uh, the next night. But, you know, our guys did a great job of that. And, and Evan and Eli deserve a lot of that credit because uh, they understand uh, me, they understand our program, but a lot of these young guys don't. And uh, so they did a really good job of getting our mindset right. And, and our guys, you know, put the Arizona loss behind them, learn from it. And I mentioned, you know, the fact that we came out, we were up 15 to three on Arizona State, and we got a lot of those points in transition mm -hmm. because our guys sprinted the floor. And, uh, you know, I've uh, I've used sarcasm a, a time or two in my life to uh, get through to our guys, and I remember in the uh, uh, offensive game plan, you know, as I read up on the board before the game, I said, "Let's run like Arizona runs, right. not like Colorado yeah. runs. Let's run like Arizona." And our guys came out and did that, you yes, know, and then so now uh, maybe we can incorporate it into uh, what we do. But I I was really proud of the way our guys mentally bounce back because that's not always easy. Hey, we're going to have KJ coming up here in, a, in yeah. a couple of minutes. And he certainly, and it was unique circumstances on Thursday night at Arizona, came out and played a phenomenal game. Yeah. Uh, really gave you a, a fantastic first half. It was, it was a big spark, if you will, in that first yeah. half surge that you guys had. And, and then played, uh, played some very nice minutes against ASU. Talk about what you're seeing from him as a player. Special, special talent. I'm yeah. telling you, he's, uh, he's, the sky is the limit for K.J. Simpson. I mean, he's, you know, we talk about McKinley, and obviously the people here have seen McKinley the last four years, you know, until uh, last year when he, when he left us. But uh, K.J.'s got a chance, I mean, uh, especially athletically and offensively, to really do some special things here. The thing I just keep getting on him about is the defensive mindset and, and, uh, and taking that pride on that he's got uh, on offense because he's a dynamic player. I mean, he's unbelievably athletic. He's gifted. He can, you know, uh, I, I talked to he and Keyshawn and Jabari all after the Arizona game and, and I, to, as a group, and I said, you know, here, here's the blessing for you guys. The blessing is you guys have the ability to make a, a tough shots. <laughs> I said the curse is, you know, you take too many tough shots. <laughs> but... KJ's he's like he's there's no fear in his game and yeah. I love that about him I really do and I think he's in the process of learning what's a good shot what's not a good shot you know he's in the process of learning hey it's time for me to take on a challenge defensively like Eli does and and uh, the thing I love about him is he you know like I do all of our freshmen is he wants to be great you know he he wants to be a good player he's very coachable and uh, 
He's really learning a lot from Eli. He's learning a lot from Evan in terms of leadership uh, skills because there's going to be a day in the in the near future where we're going to rely on him uh, yep. to be that leader for us. And right now he's a freshman. He's learning. He's growing. And But I could not be uh, happier and higher on a freshman than I am K.J. Simpson because he's – He's going to be a special player, and he's going to have a lot of highlight reels. Yeah, he already has had a few. Yes, yes, know. he has. Um, but uh, he's he's a, he's a joy to coach, and and I'm so glad he's a buff. And and uh, he'll probably talk about his story in terms of recruiting. I'm sure you'll ask him yep. about it. But you know, the one thing I've learned about recruiting, uh, KJ's taught me is, you know, when you recruit a kid and you don't get him, uh, you handle things the right way. And uh, just like when you're a kid and you get recruited by a lot of different schools, you know, I remember when KJ you know, chose to go to Arizona and not Colorado, I remember him calling and saying, Coach, hey, listen, thank, awesome. you, thank you for recruiting me. I really appreciate all you've done. You know, Sean chose to go a different direction. And, you know, that, that just shows you the character he's got, the family he came from. Uh, he's got great parents, and uh, we're lucky to have him. And, and Buff Nation is going to really, really enjoy watching this kid grow over the next few years. All right, speaking of uh, Thursday night, so USC is coming to town. We know they're wildly talented. Give us a bit of a scouting report on the Trojans. They're a talented group that we're going to have to be ready to rock and roll with in terms of our intensity and our, our focus. There's no question in my, my mind we will. Um, it sure helps when we make some shots. <laughs> we, we, we saw the difference between Arizona State and Arizona on that, but – uh, we've been doing a lot of shooting, and, and our guys shoot the ball well in our building. So I feel good about where we're at, but um, I just can't wait for Thursday. Yeah, looking forward to it. That's yeah. a 5.30 game on Thursday again. Yeah, different, on the network. different tip. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Different yeah, nice and early. We'll hit the year at 5 o'clock with uh, the pregame show on, on Thursday night. Uh, we're going to let you go so you can go home and watch Pete play. Yes. Yeah. I Pete's can't wait tonight. Pete, Pete yeah. Boyle, the uh, Pomona Pitzer Sage Hens. 8, 8 o'clock. <laughs> Good luck on Thursday. Thank you. There's the head coach of the Buffaloes, Tad Boyle, coming off the split at Arizona, getting ready for the L.A. schools, coming to town this week. Next up on the Stampede, we're going to talk with point guard K.J. Simpson.